Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at dark mode with Tailwind CSS. So this allows you to um, honor the operating system level settings for whether you're using dark or light mode. Uh, now we're gonna dive straight in. So if you haven't used Tailwind before, I've got a video for that here, worth having a peek at that. Um, so what can you do? So on Windows um, and fairly similar on other operating systems and on your phone, there'll be an option to turn on dark mode. Um, so on Windows here, I can come in and either choose light mode. You can see my borders changing here on this on this site, but but the the site itself uh, is staying pretty bright and white. Even when I get, flick back to dark, all we get is this border here. So we need our website to honor that as well. Well, we'd like it to. It'd be a nice little bonus. Um, so let's leave it on dark mode and see what Tailwind allows us to do. Now, if I come into the Tailwind config, you can add a dark mode. In fact, by default, I think this is here. It just says false. Um, and we can set it to be media, which means honor the operating system setting. Um, so by, by setting that, um, nothing should really change initially because we've actually then got to go and specify what colors to use for dark mode. So you can, you know, because you could make it completely black or... Um, less back now I've done it on a few of the pages so I've done it on like the layout page so you can see it's honoring that um, but we're going to go through and just change this page as well um, so let's go into um, the index.js and look at these paragraphs so I should be able to get one that wraps the whole of this paragraph and what we can simply say is a uh, dark and then give it a color here so we want the background color to be um, not completely black but certainly um, close to black here so all this white so let's let's go into the code and we will say dark and so this will only apply when the operating system has got dark specified and we can say background color and we'll say gray 800 um, so if I save that off let's try and get this side by side um, so we can see it as it happens all right um, Gary Gary isn't gonna work we need gray if I save that off, I'd be hoping that would update. Let's give it a refresh as well. No, is it working? Yes, built. Um, dark background gray. Oh, I've actually overridden that in here. We've got a background white afterwards. Let's move. Let's move this. I have to make this a bit more this way. Yeah, you can do it. There you go. Um, let's move the specification for dark mode in here. So by default, we're using a background of white, uh, but then when dark mode is specified, we're using gray 800. So that's taken effect now. Um, you can see it flipped it over. You know, so if I went back to the settings, and went to light mode again it wouldn't so in light mode this would not get applied and it would use a default of bg white there uh, and if i come back into dark mode it will then apply that again so i can apply that to each of my uh, paragraph sections so we would basically want that background white and dark um, so anywhere where i see this background white i guess I can say background white and dark background gray. We are going to want to change the text color as well. Um, okay, so that looks good. So there's two paragraphs on this page. The background is honoring the correct color now. Um, but if we go back up to the top one. We'd also like um, when it's dark, the text to be, uh, let's just set it to white. Okay, so that looks a bit nicer than dark again. So again, down here, we can say dark text white. 
and that should apply to that one there you see that updating as well um, and so yeah and so that then honors uh, your um, operating system level for um, dark or light mode um, and so yeah you just need to go through all of your site adding that in uh, it would obviously take a little bit of work but pretty pretty worth it nice nice outcome so you can see it again if I turn this off again now it's a light comes back into light mode but I prefer the dark so we're gonna keep it on there there we go all right tailwind CSS uh, dark mode that's how you implement it I hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you like that thumbs down is not don't forget to click that subscribe button below for future videos and I'll catch you next time bye